What's going on, y'all? Jimmy McElmere. Welcome to Season 1, Episode 16 of Lost. Last we saw, uh, Claire lost the memories after she escaped, or was let go. I assume escaped because Ethan wanted her back. Team came together with a plan, um, captured him, but Charlie decided to shoot him in the chest before they could get any possible answers. Let's get to it. Shit, that's Sawyer? Jesus. It's a pig, a boar rather. This is him. That's him. That guy is a piece of garbage. But it's not his fault, even a little bit. You are going to get yourself lost or worse. Never carried a letter around for 20 years because I couldn't get over my baggage. I never killed a man. Yeah. Looks like we got something in common after all. I can't believe this. There are hoof marks everywhere. It ain't all our stuff. Nope. It ain't your stuff. <laughs> <Where's fun? laughs> nice. What happened to your campsite? My sister Jeannie died when I was a boy. I fell off the monkey bars and broke her neck. And my mother, well, my foster mother, she blamed herself, of course. Thought she wasn't watching close enough. 
So she stopped eating, stopped sleeping. The neighbors started talking. Afraid she might do something to herself, I guess. Uh, ooh, that's good. Jeannie's funeral. This golden retriever comes padding up our driveway, walks right into our house, sits down on the floor, and looks right at my mother there on the couch. And my mother looks back at the dog. After about a minute of this, then both staring at each other like that, my mother bursts into tears. Dog slept in Jeannie's old room on Jeannie's old bed and stayed with us until my mother passed five years later, then disappeared back to wherever it was she came from in the first place. So you're saying the dog was your sister? Well, that would be silly. Thought that Jeannie'd come back to tell her the accident wasn't her fault. Let her off the hook. Holy shit! God damn, Sean Locke! It's a business that you have. Will it ease your suffering? Yeah. Then what are you doing here? Jesus! It ain't that simple. Jack's <laughs> dad convinced this guy to kill somebody? Holy shit! You might have been knowing it. I thought it'd be bigger. Funny. Now we know daddy's gotta be around here. There, piggy, piggy, piggy! Sorry, put it down. That's not fair. Yeah, piggy, piggy! Oh! Oh! You're sick. I didn't hurt it. Find your own way home. No problem. You're gonna hunt and kill the big one for killing the little one? It's bad? It's all bacon. I'm joking. Sawyer! God damn! Dear Mr. Sawyer. Oh. You used to go by the name of Sawyer. What the hell are you talking about? You didn't have to tell him that I wanted to pay. You borrowed money from him. I was gonna pay. Wow. It'll come back around. Was there a whisper in the fucking jungle? It's an eternal fuck up. Boy looks like Alf. It's just a bore. What did she give you? Nothing she wasn't willing to part with. <laughs> That's why the Sox will never win the series. What's that? What did you just say? I said that's why the Red Sox will never win the series. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just something my father used to say. So I could go through life knowing that people hated him. He a doctor too? Was. No reason. First of all, I finally just noticed that Paul Dini um, is involved with the show in some form or fashion. He was one of the creators of Batman the Animated Series. The greatest interpretation of Batman of all time. 
along with uh, Bruce Tim. Random factoid, but I think everybody should know a little more about Batman. Never hurts. Now, as for the episode, solid enough. Um, the fact that Sawyer shot the wrong person probably would have more of an effect on me if I felt like the actual Sawyer deserved to die, which I don't. Not even a little bit. Not even kind of, sort of. Not even can wrap my brain around the idea that he deserves death. There are several levels of blame here. Um, 90, we looked at this purely from a what happened perspective. 90, no, fuck that. I'm not going to give her any blame. 100% of the blame falls with your fucking dad because he's the one that shot your mom and then shot himself. From an actual technical perspective, he is 100% to blame. You want to go from like a moral perspective, whatever the fuck that means, I guess 80% would be your dad. Fuck that, 90% would be your dad. Because he fucking shot somebody, your mom, and then shot himself. Which is fine, kill yourself, but you don't kill somebody else. And then I guess her and fucking Sawyer can split the blame. Fuck it. No, fuck that, I can't blame Sawyer a little bit. He's not married to her. He doesn't know you. He doesn't owe either of you anything. So 90% dad, 10% mom. 95% dad, 5% mom. 99% dad, 1% mom from a moral perspective. And if you want to look at this one big universe, fucking 100% God's fault, or the universe's fault, or biology's fault, for making your dad too weak to accept that he wasn't getting it done in the bedroom, and then you got his money stolen, he wasn't strong enough to handle that, and then he killed your mom. How is this on anybody except the dad? I don't understand. How is this Sawyer's fault? But you don't understand. There's only so much people can take before they fucking kill their wife and then blow their brains out. If you say so, I guess. How many other times has Sawyer done this? How many people have shot their wife and then blew their own brains out? You can't handle your wife fucking somebody else? And you're getting your money stolen? Yeah, that would stink. I'd go into a stupor, just some drinking, not leaving the room, crying, all types of shit going on. No point would I fucking... I don't think so. I don't think at any point I would shoot my wife and then blow my own brains out. I just don't see it. I can't... I just, how? Why? You just have one of those moments where you completely lose your shit. You get a divorce, sleep on a futon, fucking take more shifts at the factory or whatever, and try to get your life together. Ten years later, you buy a Porsche, you get some woman 20 years younger than you are, just trying to put the pieces back together, make yourself feel better. You still have a son who's going to need his dad and his mom with all of her brains still inside of her head. She cheated on you. All right, I feel for you. Call her a whore, or whatever people do when they get cheated on. Like, ah! You fucked the bitch. Do that, right? Get yourself a good lawyer. Move on. Find Sawyer. Beat the shit out of him. Move on. I don't understand. So Sawyer, this Sawyer, current Sawyer, um, blonde Sawyer, whose actual name I already forgot. Um, needing revenge on this guy, I just, I just, I'm not with you. I can't get with you. Now, I understand it, that he's a fucking, he was a kid at the time, so he would fucking place this blame on this guy. Just saying for me, as an adult, looking at it, outside in. <sighs> the board thing was interesting. Uh, John Locke's story was the best part of the show, obviously. Um, obviously. It's another weird moral, like, dilemma. Like, you're willing to kill this boar. Like, that's why we're hunting this boar down. We are hunting this boar down, Kate. We're hunting this boar down with the intent and purpose of killing it. It is after me. I want revenge. I'm going to fucking kill it. But then grabbing the little one, like, that's off limits. You gotta wait till it gets bigger. Then we kill it. Then they let it go. It's fucking lunch. You just let run back into the woods. Did I even tell you if I enjoyed it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was alright. 
Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Tell Adidas that we need a million in production. I done told y'all all I needed was the infrastructure. Now we hide in the streets, it ain't no discussion.